So uh, week three, what did we do? We um, got up to the, uh, the shed in Rochford. Um, and this time I wanted to start stripping all the paint off the panels. So we got a little uh, stripping disc, 100 mil stripping disc, which attached us to a standard angle grinder. Um, mine was just 100 mil. I didn't have any bigger, preferably you'd want to go to 125 mil to get extra coverage. Uh, great disc, uh, they take the paint straight off the metal without taking actually too much um, metal in the process. I found them really fast and from the research that I've done on YouTube, you know, they do exactly what they're meant to do. So I thoroughly recommend getting stripping discs to get the paint off. I also used paint stripper, which was, you know, quite expensive, about 60 bucks for, I think it was about four litres. Um, very, it stinks, very messy. Uh, didn't really do the, the best job because there was a lot of body filler in the, in the bonnet as you'll see in the video. In fact, the bonnet was pretty much use, useless. So I got a uh, replacement bonnet for $100 off this guy out in Melbourne and uh, it looked straight. But as soon as I put that paint stripper on it and then the stripping disc, it revealed that it's actually as straight as a dog's hind leg. So it was pretty much cactus. So I'm gonna use the original bonnet which had hail damage in it. Um, but I'm thinking after a bit of research, I'll be able to actually fix those, those little dents um, with a combination of tack welding and you know, hammering it up, some um, hammer and dolly, and I think you know, body filler at the end will just sort of brush over the top of it. So I think it's gonna be a lot better than using that um, shit one that I got. Um, I'm in my office, just in case you didn't uh, know, my other business that I do, or the, my business that I do, uh, full time is animation and video, so hence why I'm doing these videos. But um, anyway, getting back to the uh, the car. Uh, so yeah, I didn't do a hell of a lot. We had one day really that I could get into it and strip those panels back. So um, as you'll see in the footage, you know I did one quarter panel, sorry, one front guard um, and half a bonnet, and then I did some test patches around the car. So. So yeah, I just worked my way slowly uh, through the paint. I was cautious not to stay in one spot for too long because I didn't want to actually burn the metal or actually warp the metal, which I've heard you can do if you heat it up too fast. The good thing about these stripping discs, as they are a resin mesh, they disperse the heat quite well. So the panel was actually quite cool, even if you stayed on the spot for a little bit. Um, so, you know, the best result you get on the edge, but I was sort of mindful that I'd like to try and keep it as flat as possible, but also around those wheel, wheel arches, it's quite hard. And you can see it's coming off, there's minimal sparks along the way, and that exposed the one and only rust patch in that, which was bogged up probably about eight years ago. Last time it was restored, it's quite bad, but it can be fixed. It's, it hasn't actually eaten away straight through, so the rust patch will fix that up quite nicely. The rest of it was really straight and clean, which I was really happy about. So that was it, that was the, the one front guard that we did. Um, after the patching was done throughout the other car, we just then started to remove those tarp holders um, because they'll need to come up to, in order to strip the quarter panels off. And that's it, that's the result. Um, there's still a little bit to go on the top, but that was pretty much a fully stripped panel. Um, I'll probably get a burnishing uh, machine just to make sure that I can go over it and even out those swirl marks and that'll sort of give me an idea as to um, the highs and low points if there's any and I can start going, getting the hammer and dolly out and doing some panel beating. Alright well that's it for week three. Um, next week I'm busy but I'm going to try and endeavour to get up there the following week and really tear into those panels and, and get the whole car stripped back and I'm really looking forward to it actually so until then, see ya.